You know, in the fall, I, I finesse fish a lot. You know, I throw a, a drop shot a bunch and, and a shaky head a bunch, and, and I've caught a lot of fish doing it. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the techniques I really go to. But another one not a lot of people know of, uh, haven't seen a whole bunch, is, is what I call a PD rig. It's actually just a light Carolina rig. Um, you know, 3 sixteenths to quarter ounce sinker, very light. Uh, light line, 8 to 10 pound test line. And what, I, what, what, what makes it so neat is you take two bobber stoppers, just like you would peg your sinker if you was flipping or anything else. Instead of putting them on the front side of your sinker, you put them on the bottom side. And what that does, it allows your, you know, it makes your swivel, so to speak. And what's so neat about it is you can adjust that thing to whatever length you want, you know. Uh, all during the course of the day, you can slide them things up and down your line. Um, but this is a great technique in the fall, especially in, in grass lake situations where a big Carolina rig, you know, three quarter ounce or a one ounce sinker is too much. This technique works, in my opinion, as, as well as the drop shot and the shaky head a lot of times. It's one of those deals that just, just gets, gets a lot of bites. You know, you don't need a, a big rod for, for this application. I, you know, I prefer a spinner rod. Uh, like I say, it's light line. So, Spinner rod with, with light line in this presentation, and you can make longer casts, you can feel the bite. A lot of times the bite's real subtle. You know, when I'm throwing the PD rig, uh, a lot of times I'm, I'm throwing around, you know, grass or maybe a little gravel. Uh, and what's neat about that on the spinner rod is you can you can feel the bottom so well with this. Uh, and, and what I pretty much do is, is work it very, very slow. Um, and when I come to a grass line, you know, you can feel the bait coming through the grass. When it gets to the open area, it means you're at the grass line. I let it sit there for a while. Um, this is a technique that takes patience. And the same with, you know, gravel or shell. When I get in that in that strike zone, I, let, I want to I want the bait just to sit there and be um, just very subtle. And 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 the bite's going to be, you know, they're not just going to come over and just freight train it, but you, it just get heavy and just kind of load up. And you know, with this bait, all you pretty much got to do with that light line, just pull back on them, just like with a shaky head or, or a drop shot. You can just kind of let them load up and pull back on them, and, and very seldom will you lose a fish doing this. So, you know, when the bite gets tough, try this technique. It'll pay off for you.